Welcome back to the Roadside Rescue YouTube channel. I'm Ernest, and on this episode, I've got a buddy who's got a pretty nice Ford Ranger, and uh, I used to not like Ford Rangers, but now I love them. Well, obviously I have one, but dude, this thing's fast. I'm in traffic, but uh, I can always keep up and merge in traffic because this thing doesn't lack power. Well, my buddy's got the new Ranger with an Eco Boost. I've never worked on the motor. He does a lot of stuff himself, but whenever he has something a little bit tricky or bigger, then he'll call me. I've had to help him rewire some lights on the rear because we redid his bumper. So check out till the end of the video and uh, I'll put in the clips of redoing the bumper there. It was like a four minute video, so I never published it, but that'll go perfect with this. Well, we carpool a lot because we're disc golf buddies, so we play tournaments together. Uh, we have a whole group of buddies that, uh, four or five of us, six of us sometimes, we play together. And uh, he's been asking me, we've been talking about forever about getting a dash cam. The traffic's pretty bad today, can't turn left on the usual road up here. Anyways, I'm almost to his place and I've got a really nice dash cam that he's been wanting to install. Uh, we just went down to Moab a couple of weeks ago in his truck. And trust me, there's a lot of good reasons to have a dash cam, especially out here in Utah. I'll talk about them when we get there. I reached out to 70 My, and they have some really good rated dash cams on Amazon. Check out the links in the description down below in the pinned comment, and they've got an extra discount for my channel. But this is a 4K HDR dash cam, and not only is it a dash cam, it's got the rear facing cam as well. I think that's almost just as important as having a dash cam. So obviously you can see here it's dual recording supported. It comes in a nice box. Let's go ahead and unbox it. This extra box that comes with it is just the wire if you want to wire it into like a fuse or something, which is always a great option. This wire allows the dash cam to use parking monitor, which on this dash cam is also AI assisted. And hey, if installing electronics or something that a company gave me a discount for isn't your style for the video, you can skip to the end and watch that bumper install, which is just a bumper my buddy bought and I helped him put on, or you can come back on the next video. Let's go ahead and see what's inside. And the high quality Sony sensor can actually pick up license plate numbers. It's a great looking camera there. The Super Sensing ADAS can do a few different things. It expands safety alerts, including pedestrian biker alerts, it has a lane departure alert, a front collision alert, and moving traffic alert. My buddy was concerned about getting a dash cam that he could remove and take off of the window when he wanted. And that's what you see right here is the mount that will go onto the window. My buddy's actually had some issues with his window being broken. And, uh, and I think and then he got into a collision a few months later where he was held partially responsible because there wasn't good footage of the accident. So, so here we got a nice little quick charger and we've got our camera cable. And right here we've got our normal USB to USB-C power cable. And we've got a little spoon, trim spoon to help us tuck that wire in the trim or up behind it. So we'll be able to hide this completely. I'll show you how to do that yourself. So this can also be a dash cam install video. And what's impressive is the large screen on this dash cam. Let's go ahead and get it set up and I'll show you better. All right, so I actually opened up the manual to go ahead and read that. And I forgot that we're obviously gonna have some static film sheets to put on the windshield. So that can be removed whenever we want. And we've got one for the front and for the back. So uh, people often overlook that step whenever they're installing a dash cam, but it's super easy. You want to make sure that your windshield's clean either way, so I'll ask my buddy for some alcohol on a napkin or some Windex or vinegar to go ahead and clean up a nice spot. And uh, this will go down first, so whenever you want to remove it, it's just a static film holding that on there. But those are super strong, you never have to worry about that. If you were worried though, it tells you right here how to line them up. Okay, so I will download the app whenever we carpool tomorrow and show you all some footage of this driving, but you're not even gonna need the app to see footage of yourself driving because that is a great looking screen right there. We've got four little option buttons that are easily accessible on the front here, so that's always nice. Looks like a power button on the side there and an adjustable angle on this camera here, so this is gonna set up perfect. Okay, now I've talked to my buddy about um, the best placement for his rear camera. I always like to give the vehicle owner the choice because you can put it anywhere. Um, but on some vehicles in particular, uh, when you have like a very limited range of space to see out the rear window, it can affect your visibility. 
And that's honestly something that you have to think about with the forward facing camera as well. If you wanna see the screen while you're driving or if you wanna hide it completely behind your rear view mirror. Uh, this is a newer Ranger that has a lot of sensors up here behind the mirror. So we're not gonna put it right behind anyways. I'll show you in a second. But here's our rear camera, which is again, adjustable. And we've got our long information cable to run this all the way to the front. So you could use this. This looks like it's about 10 feet on a pretty decent size SUV. On this Ranger though, we're not gonna need that much. So I'm probably gonna do my classic um, hideaway in the back pillars. There's usually a lot of space, usually some airbags. So I'll try and tuck it behind the airbag, not in front of the airbag, but we'll get to that whenever we get there. We're gonna go ahead and just run a normal power cable for now. Now what's awesome about this 70 My Dash Cam is it actually has some AI built into it to help motion detect. Okay, let's go ahead and clean the front windshield and the most challenging part of this is gonna be hiding the wire and running it up past this weather stripping here. Um, that's the most fun part to me and it usually takes 10 minutes at the end. So first thing I'm gonna do is pick the spot up here and we'll go ahead and get this dash cam mounted up. This anywhere from here, yeah, yeah, over there. So what do you think, right here? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. All right, so my buddy, something else that's important and I'll show you once we set it up. Uh, my buddy always uses a windshield um, protector, a sun protector up in his windshield. And uh, he needed a dash cam that was nice and skinny to fit behind that. So another good thing about this dash cam is how flush that's going to sit up there. And I'll show you once we get this mounted up. Uh, out of both places, we were thinking about putting on either side of this. Uh, we think over here, just past the windshield where that screen's gonna be visible is the best spot. So I've got some alcohol on this, might be mostly dried up by now, but oh, there we go. What we'll does it make sure that there's no dust or debris or oil on that windshield so the static film sticks? And then we'll stick that film on and that looks great and dry already. So this is what the dash cam will actually stick to. If you ever want to remove this, then it makes it easy. You're not actually gluing anything to the windshield and those will hold it on just fine. Then you want to be careful of is not installing the mount and look how small that is upside down. We've chosen a good spot right here and let's go ahead and just get our double-sided foam glue on there. Let's power this thing on and make sure that looks level to the horizon before I glue that on there. Okay, so I'm just making sure this is level with the horizon when I'm gluing this on. That way uh, you don't get a weird angle. Look how level that is, that's perfect. Okay, if you can see that, I'll, I'll get some better footage off of the phone when I download the app, but I'll tell you this has a really wide angle lens on it, that's awesome white car over there it's like directly beside us and then angle that down over the bed just a little and let's go ahead and run that wire that's gonna be fun okay and it's nice that this dash cam also comes with its own trim tool so you can install it um, right here, I think it's gonna be easy to pop off of the clips, probably somewhere around here. And then if I tuck that wire up here, it won't be in the way of the uh, airbags is what I'm thinking. If there is an airbag back here, I'll find out. I'll pull on that in a minute. But there's gonna be plenty of extra cable here. So let me start in the front and bring all the slack to the back. Slack to the back. All right, let me show you how easy that is. Okay, so I can just slide the weather stripping down a little and you can see I can just tuck and run that wire straight up underneath the actual roof itself. So that's gonna be really easy to tuck all the way back to the corner. Okay, there's plenty of room inside there to hide the wire. So that's where I'm gonna do it. And I've just gotta watch out for this one clip. Here we go, that's gonna tuck right behind our clip here and we're done. No, I'm not, I gotta finish the front. Okay, so the final result, I've run the power wire, just zip tied it out of the way, up the column here, behind there, 
And we got power and signal just going up out of the way from everything. Get those tucked a little better. So if you want a 70 my dash cam, make sure you check out the link in the description and the pinned comment for hooking us up. You'll get a great deal. Well, the app is super easy to use. As you can tell, it obviously keeps your location and speed and all that important information for if you ever need it. So here's a look at the app and that rear camera looks just as good as the front facing camera. And it's just as important. And here's what it looks like driving at night. It's also just as clear. Welcome back to the Roadside Rescue YouTube channel. I'm Ernest and it's kind of a rainy day today. I've got a buddy coming on over and I'm gonna help him replace his bumper. I've known my buddy for a couple years now. He ordered a new bumper and asked if I could help him put it on today. He's got a pretty nice new Ford Ranger, so I'm not sure if that's gonna be hard or easy. I told him no worries, bring it on over and I'd help him out. So that being said, all I know is he's got a nice bumper that he got on a bit of a sale. So let's see it when he gets here and let's see how long it takes. bolts right there pretty obvious okay the bumper's gonna come out with two of these on each side I'm just gonna make sure pretty simple yeah all the wires are off so Okay, so here's the bumper. Let me show you how everything went. No original holes to reinstall stuff, so uh, these connectors will be zip tied. This out of the way, I had to separate the wiring harness to get these to reach, and I rewrapped it left. That corner there open, same thing with right here. All right, well, I didn't realize the GoPro died. It ran out of battery, but at least you got to see the bumper installed. It looks super awesome. I think the coolest part is the license plate flips up and then the hitch is behind there. He doesn't have a hitch. We might put one on one day, but I would expect that job to take about an hour and a half after all the tiny little adjustments you have to do to get it lined up perfectly flat and uh, all the gaps looking right side to side, which we did. Um, you're also going to have to just deal with that wiring harness a little bit and that's going to take some time. It's about an hour and a half, two hours max. That's exactly what I was thinking. If you like this video, make sure you're subscribed. You can donate the links in the description or leave a nice comment down below and check out this video next. I'll see you there. That's a job well done.